माय फ्रेंड्स नाउ द सेकंड एडिशन ऑफ शतरंज का हीरो दिस प्रोग्राम इज गोइंग ऑन ड्यूरिंग ब्रेक आई हैव गॉट द कोस्ट ऑफ चैटर्जी विद मी आई एम वेरी लकी पर्सन टू टेक द इंटरव्यू फ्रॉम हिज साइड जस्ट कैन यू टेल मी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ व्हाट स्टोरी यू हैव कम ऑन द फील्ड ऑफ चेस तो when i was very very young my dad was a huge fan of chess and he is the one who introduced me to chess and i i was a huge fan of history and kind of battles and wars which is why chess made a lot of sense because it's a game of battles and wars and kings and queens and that's what made me attracted to chess and what is what person will is your chess idol in your chess career magnus carlsen for sure by far because i like that he is very active very physical fit very attractive he's also playing in playing sports he has businesses he's doing so much in life that very inspiration okay how many uh, hours per day you are spending time for chess when i was working very hard on chess it was like 4 to 4 to 5 hours mm -hmm. now i'm more into academics and studies and becoming something in in, in like academics mm -hmm. which is why now it's very less it's like 2 hours mm -hmm. but before it was a lot more 4 or 5 okay uh, the chess concept is going on or the way the chess concept is getting widespread in india as well as west bengal yeah. are you think are you satisfied the everybody wants to play chess the trends is getting changed what is your concept so i mean from my perspective from both bengal india and america mm. i think chess is on the up on the up on the rise everywhere kind of and i'm really proud of that because It's bringing a lot of recognition. It's bringing a lot of money into chess, which is very good for us professionals. So I'm very glad that this has happened, and it's a very good sign. I think chess is an amazing sport, amazing hobby. So it's it's a very good sign that it's it's uh, developing. If you are given, sir, education and chess, what you will like to prefer? This is a difficult question. I would say when I was younger, I would have preferred chess and making something in chess. I think. Once you become a grandmaster, there's not much more you can do in chess. There's 2600, 2700, but it doesn't really matter. Once you become grandmaster, I'd say education comes first. But before that, chess comes first because grandmaster is a very prestigious title, and I want to achieve that. Okay, and what will be your ambition about chess in future? I want to reach 2600. That's my goal for now. But other than that, I just want to keep winning tournaments, keep making some money from chess, and making progress in that sense. Okay, in your early days, when you started to play the chess. on that time i think you are rich persons or you belong to rich family but some players are there they don't uh, belong to rich family so due to their finance uh, financial constraint they tried to play but due to lack of money they did not get the coaching so uh, have you faced any kind of problem in your earlier days when you started playing chess so when i was young i was also not spending too much money on chess my way of developing myself was i also didn't have coaching for example for a long long time mm -hmm. what i would do is i would use chessbase which is available for free online if you know how to search for it mm -hmm. and it's also you can use materials and combine them and you can learn on your own i think there are many good books for example there's a book called how to study chess on your own which mm -hmm. is an amazing book for learning on by yourself i think if you play a lot of tournaments and which is actually very not that expensive honestly and if you learn on your own it should be not that difficult my friends there are few players they are very potential they are very aggressive they want to play chess but due to lack of money they don't go ahead can you give them support moral support one day you will open chess coaching center and if you get that kind of player then you can deliver the chess coaching or chess coaching tips or chess tips at free of cost this kind of initiative do you like to more you yeah, like yeah. to have more so uh, i can say something a kind of a sneak peek let's say okay. uh, a lot of the grandmasters in, in bengal mm -hmm. we want to open a chess camp in the future mm -hmm. which is going to be very 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 cheap very very inexpensive for people to come and learn from all the grandmasters in, in bengal which includes me mitra ko dipayon shayanto everyone will be there arun ko for example will also be there and we are going to help them learn and grow and it's going to be very cheap it's going to be very inexpensive for them to come and we are going to be offering very low rates so I, it's something we're going to try to do in the future but not for now all of us are working all of us are still playing ourselves so it's not possible for us to do it now but it's coming in the future are you planning about this i am kind of continuing to play tournaments in america and just winning them that's my goal for now win tournaments make some rating make some money and that's about it for now have you any social obligation about this in future so yeah that is my one of my 
goals long term let's say like when I, okay i think for any of this you need a lot of money you need a lot of capital to start kind of this kind of initiatives mm -hmm. so first i want to have a job i want to have some money and then after that i want to help develop chess in bengal and then in india okay my friends thank you so much on behalf of utpal paul vlogs channel i wish you all the best thank i think you will be you will be very good person very good player i think one day you will defeat magnus carlson i hope so too. thank you my expectations thank you thank right you. thank you so much thank you.